let's leave Mulvaney aside for a second. Are people right to say going from the podium to MSNBC promos the next day is a bad look? No, I think we've seen uh, a lot of press secretaries actually make that move. We, we saw Kaylee McEnany. She's on your old network and the network that I frequent uh, all over on Fox News. So I don't think that anybody has necessarily been shouting down Fox News for hiring somebody who is a, a right wing partisan. It's, it's the same thing that we're seeing on the left with uh, Jen Psaki going the, 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 to MSNBC. The, the, so we've the, seen this the, the big difference is in the case of all of those people, they didn't make the deal while they were still on the podium. They were, they were, there was a big gap in that time. That there was, there was no idea that you're negotiating your new cable contract while at the same time you're spinning for the president. I don't know that there was ways. a big gap. I, I, I'm not sure there was a big gap. But either way, um, I, I think that's a fair criticism. The fact that she may be. Uh, having conversations prematurely. We all know that MSNBC is a partisan network, as is Fox News. So I don't yeah, think that, that this no, is a big surprise. Yeah, it, you know, it, it's a very fair point that, that neither of those channels really make a big distinction about them not being partisan. So, so there you go. What's interesting, though, is the incredible flack that CBS is getting both internally and externally for hiring Mick Mulvaney years after he left the White House. It's interesting because if you hire, it seems, somebody who worked in the Trump White House, uh, it's almost like a third rail. But if you hire somebody who worked in the Trump White House who repudiates Donald Trump, for example, Alyssa Farah, who's now on CNN and then gets on The View, those who repudiate Trump are welcome with open arms. No, I think that there's there is certainly something to that. But I would also uh, point out that the issue with CBS is CBS purports itself to be a nonpartisan, uh, just a informative network. It doesn't uh, make the same partisan claims that uh, Fox News or MSNBC make. So I think that you know, people are frustrated, particularly with some of the things that Mick Mulvaney right, has but, said. But follow, but following that following, following your recently. logic. Wouldn't that be all the more reason that CBS needs people who represent every point of view as an analyst? He wasn't hired as an anchor. Wouldn't that be all the more reason that CBS, if they are indeed impartial, needs a Trump voice who still supports the MAGA movement? Well, I think one of the things that people say is maybe hire journalists um, instead. And, you know, I know that's that's ironic for me to say as someone who, who makes <laughs> partisan claims. But at the same time, uh, I think that people are looking, people who go to CBS rather than some of the cable networks are looking for objective analysis. Right, but, but each one You're of not the... going to get any objectivity from Mick Mulvaney. In particular, I, I do think that this has to do with some of the things that are happening right now, uh, particularly with Ukraine and some of the things Mick Mulvaney uh, said in, in terms of uh, extorting Zelensky, um, you know, under the Trump administration and being proud of that. And also some of the things right, he no, said but about- it goes, it goes back to, he's not being hired as a journalist, he's being hired, uh, hired as a commentator, as is Jen Psaki, who interestingly enough, is very interested in the cable news paycheck, perhaps not necessarily sure of the future of cable news. Take a listen. Cable news is dying, right? The ratings for it are, dwindling right but their checks still cash <laughs> <laughs> well you know thus far we'll, we'll see with some networks uh but you know we we saw networks go down uh you know and, and have to close their doors but i will say um you know who's not interested in a in a yeah. cable news uh check yeah, yeah fair, <laughs> fair, 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 fair 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 enough um always punch up as they say uh, professor, it was good to see you. Have a great weekend. You too, Leland. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, we want to know what you think. Should Jen Psaki be allowed to go from the podium to promos, continue working at the White House before she starts working at MSNBC? Let us know on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Leland Vittert. We'll read some of your responses at the end of the show. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.